King, you the pro. Yo, what up, Tube? It's Jack Spade for Trap Monsters. And today we're going to talk about Ableton Live. And uh, more specifically, what we're going to talk about is drum racks. All right, so drum racks is the main uh, program or main plugin that you would use inside of Ableton Live for drums, obviously. So let's load one in there. This is a blank drum rack. And what you could do, you could start loading different sounds in there. I have a lot of machine sounds that I use. So let's see here. Let's just put this one in there. Then, um, you know, you could build your kit like this. However you want to do it. All right. Of course, they show up on the pad here. Want to change the color, you hold shift um, and hit the pad that you want to change, and then you change it to that color. And there you go. Um, that's pretty cool. But let's do some different stuff. Let's go ahead and let's layer, let's layer some of these um, drums. So I could put a clap, let's put another percussion. So in order to layer it, I'm gonna hold down command and drag it onto this layer here. And uh, let's add a snare to that. Hold down that command. Boom. You can rename this. Clap or whatever. Clap snare. Now you have now you have a strong snare slash clap there, and you can mess with the levels over here. Each one of these things are in this um, this plugin. Each one of these sounds are in this plugin called a sampler which is basically a, a simple version of a sampler. Um, so what you can do is mess with the filter of each one of these. Like if you wanted to take the highs out, you could put a low pass filter. Um, you could add, th these are uh, different analog style filters that you can use. Bring the driveway up on that, make it nasty, whatever. Then you can put th you do this one and put a low uh, a high pass filter just so that they're not clashing. All right, or whatever you want to do. You can also warp it. it. It's it's a bunch of different things you can do. You can mess with the uh, you know the pitch envelope, the attack, decay, the sustain, release, all kind of stuff, all kind of options you got there. All right. Back to the sample. Now, cool thing is you can um, you can take this whole group. One thing I love about this is the way that you can kind of mix while you're doing this. I could take this whole group and I can either, I could put a compressor or a plug-in or whatever on the entire group. Or individual sounds like if I just wanted on that clap now it's just on that clap only now if I wanted to put it on the entire drum rack I could put it all the way to the right now that affects everything from the drums everything uh, from all the, uh, for, it affects all the drums all right so that's one cool thing about it uh, another cool thing is you can actually put a lot of drum sounds on into this drum racks. If you look over here, you'll see that there are uh, a bunch of different rolls of the 4x4 
um, you know, NPC style drum pads, um, but you have like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, um, and you know, eight times 16, uh, whatever that is. <laughs> Anybody that's good at math can guess that for me real quick, but that's, that's in a, a lot of drums basically. <laughs> And what I can do is I could drop a whole bunch of drums in at once. Let's say I wanted to make a drum rack full of kicks. I can make a drum rack, get all my kicks from uh, this particular machine expansion, which is um, Golden Kingdom. And I could just throw it in there. So bam, I threw a bunch of them in there. And if you look at the, uh, the push, you see, I can go, I can scroll up and down to different rows of uh, these drum racks, but I could also hit this layout button. And now I got all of these pads that I can put drum sounds in, which is pretty dope. So it's a, it's a very quick way of like, if you're trying to find a kick, if you just wanna, Okay, I want that kit. Then you could do something to it, you know what I'm saying? Real fast. Let's say I wanted to take this and put it on its own track. I can um, find it right here and extract chains. And that comes in handy when you're trying to mix, um, when you're trying to actually export your uh, your drum sounds individually. And uh, let's see here. You can also take one of these. You can convert that to a new MIDI track. Now what that does is it actually takes this one sound and puts it across the entire key range. So you can have different pitches of that one drum sound. And this is really cool with like, let me see. Let's actually do it with a hi-hat. And let's say you wanted to, you know, have some cool variation. easy way to do those pitched hi-hats. So as you can see, man, it's, it's, it's very versatile, even though that simpler is not really part of the drum racks, but it still is related to the different types of things that you can do. Um, now, if you look up here, you can unfold all of these. And now you got all of these drum sounds, you know, on the mixer. So it's very easy to, you know, uh, mix those different drum sounds the way you want it. You can always just close that. And uh, let's see what else we got. It's, it's, uh, so that's the ba that's basically the, you know, the the meat and potatoes of this uh, plugin. The drum rack is very straightforward, very simple, and you can do a lot of things that other drum drum machines can't really do you know as quickly so i would say that this is uh one of my favorite drum racks besides the uh or drum machines besides the actual machine itself which i i do love the machine as well but um this one right here is is super quick um and super dope so that's it man this is drum racks from ableton live just join me on the uh, next video. You know, keep watching us. Um, like, subscribe, do all that good shit. Trap monsters. We out this bitch.